What's up, everybody? I just wanted to hop on here today and talk about the HHA Tetra Rise Max. I picked this site up a little bit ago. Been shooting it for a while now, and I just wanted to talk about some of the pros and cons I found of it, some of the features I like, and just a couple things I wish were a little bit better on it. But anyway, I'll give a overview of kind of what it's got going for it and then compare it to some of the other sites I've heard of it. Alright, so one of the things I really like about this particular one is if you order online, you can get it in green and yellow or green and red for the two pins. And I think the top one is 19 thousandths and the bottom is usually 10 thousandths. I custom ordered one with two greens and they're both 10 thousandths uh, size and I can see this picture really well. It's really clear for me the green is far enough apart where you're not going to mix it up. And I think my eyes just see green better. So in low light situations, this is an extremely bright site. Um, and I've really enjoyed shooting it so far. The other thing I really like about it is if you look in the housing, there's no pin exposure as far as like the fibers. So if you think about it, if you're carrying this thing on you know, your back, this is kind of how I carry a bow out west or something. Say you're hiking through oak brush. I've had sites before where the fibers are exposed right here. And maybe you have a stick or something, get in there and crimp that fiber. When that fiber gets crimped, all the light pretty much dissipates from that pin. So that's another really cool thing I like about the site. The other thing I've noticed, it's been super quiet. It's definitely a lot more quiet than some of the other sites I've used, like Spot Hogs and CBEs. Some of those, it, it, they tend to rattle and it's like the flavor of the day with them. I mean, sometimes they're loud, sometimes they're quiet. This one's always quiet. It really seems to quiet up the bow a lot. I'm using Sight Tape 42 on this right now. I'm shooting a little bit low, um, so I'll probably switch to 43. But the sight in process is pretty easy. I would encourage people to kind of just do, you know, a couple days of shooting with some of the setup tapes because the difference between the tapes is so minute that you can put the wrong one on. And obviously, the thing. One thing I don't like about it is like once these tapes are on, if they're off, you can't ever, you know, in terms of if you take them off, you can't ever really use them again because, um, you know, you, you stick them on opposed to like some other tapes uh, nowadays or metal tapes, which are, are pretty cool, too. So that's one thing I really like about, um, you know, some of the other sites on the market that have metal tapes. You're not as opposed to, you know, being worried about weather or rain or anything like that. Uh, like I am kind of with this. They, they say this is waterproof and I've shot it in the rain a couple times and it hasn't bled at all in terms of the ink. So that's been pretty good, but we'll, we'll have to see how it goes. Another thing I like about the site, but wish was a little bit different is these two indicators right here. They move together in tandem. Some of the other sites on the market, you can move the indicators independently of each other. Um, so, you know, if you move these, obviously the farther you go down the tape, the more these are probably going to be off just because of how the arrow kind of spreads out. I mean, the only way to really fix that is, you know, go archer's advantage or kind of just have a set yardage where um, these two come into play and, and kind of sight in for that. But being able to move these independently would definitely help, but they do move in tandem. The only difference on this site compared to the Tournament Rise Max, I think it's called, is you can do two sight tapes. So like you see this wheel is kind of hollowed out, or not hollowed out, but it's got these divots. That's just the normal one. The one that's completely circular is the one where you can have the two tapes, but I think it's like $100 extra. I just kind of shoot the same arrows, so I didn't think that was really necessary, and I think that's the only difference between the two of them. You do have a ton of range on this tape, I run out of clearance is the problem. If you scroll down to the bottom on 42, you know, that's about 150 yards, but I would take out the pins and the housing if I shot here. I think I only have clearance to about 120, 125-ish, which is, you know, it's, it's pretty good, but I'd like to have it a little longer. You can move it a little bit closer. Uh, it fits the bridge lock perfectly here. That's one thing that's also pretty neat that I enjoy, but, Overall, I think it's a good site. I think a lot of people, this is another thing I kind of want to talk about, are putting like the UltraView housings on this. I'll insert some pictures. I had recently bought an UltraView, like the UV3XL, and I was just really unhappy with it. I don't, I don't know why you would buy this site and replace this housing, which I think is a 
way better housing than the Ultra View. One, the pins are brighter. They're definitely more durable. And I think they're definitely less susceptible to problems in the field. And I think it's quieter too. I, I did put an Ultra View on this and I, I ended up just sending it back. I mean, to pay $250 or whatever that thing costs for what you get, it's just not really quality. And I think with the lifetime warranty on this, plus it being tougher just in general, the fiber's kind of being hidden more on the pins. I think the pins are brighter and I like a smaller housing opposed to a larger one anyway. I, I think this is probably the better option rather than swapping scopes on this. So that's another thing I kind of want to talk about. But anyway, let me know in the comments if you guys have tried this. I think this is only a $10 upcharge if you're going to change and do a custom housing, which is, I, I think I would definitely go with the two greens. I, don't, I haven't seen people do that before, but to, to have that advantage of being able to see the pin way better than a red or a yellow as your bottom, I think is a huge advantage. So. Let me know if you try it or if you got any questions, just put them in the comments. But appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll catch you on the next one.